stressed with the camera? No camera. Why? Super expensive. Hi. How are you? Hi, it's my number. This is madness. You live in Ukraine. And the soup right here, guys, is known as Khabcho. Good morning to all of you from this sunny day in Tbilisi, Georgia. I often get asked, what's the cost of living in the places that I visit? So today, we're going to do exactly that. Check out what prices are like here in Tbilisi. So guys, now we're going to take a quick look at what 40, 30 to 40 euros buys you in the heart of Tbilisi. And I think I've arrived to my destination. Let's take a look. Здравствуйте. Приятного аппетита. Спасибо вам, спасибо. Торгуете, да? Да, да. Что у вас вкусненькое есть? Вкусненькое Yeah. Are you going to English? Yes, I was talking You still speak English? Yes, yes. Then you have to practice it with me, but until you have the chance. Practice it is already late for me. What is it? Свежий молоко? Да, конечно. У вас корова дома, что ли? Корова и буйвол. Да, а это что? Это сало. А, это сало? Специи там... Да, с унелями нашим. Сало вообще это украинская пища. Да. Брат у меня так живет. У них совсем только соль. Чеснок и соль. Да. Спасибо. So this is worth it. Prices have gone up dramatically in Tbilisi, mainly due to what's going on in Ukraine. A lot of Russians have come over to Georgia and the prices for hotels, real estate, rentals literally skyrocketed. Здравствуйте. Это мой номер? Да. Ага. Отлично. О. Это все дерево? Да. Или пластик? Нет. Дерево? Guys, this is all made out of wood. This is crazy. <laughs> this is madness. It's like living in a tree house. That's going to be an experience. But anyway, guys, this is what you get for 30 to 40 euros a night right now in Tbilisi, right by the center. Yeah, let's keep going. Right away, guys, I only just checked in and this lady already invited me to a coffee. Спасибо большое. И это весь дом так? Да. Наверху тоже? Могу посмотреть? Вау. So she's let me go upstairs to check it out. I mean, look at this. Third room. Just like that. Look at this. Guys, even the air conditioner. It's done up this way. Это ваш дом? Super prosta. This place is so unique. I'm going to add her contacts to this video and in the description below. And if you ever come to Tbilisi, I promise you, it's literally two minutes from the center and this is just surreal. Fantastic. What a deal, guys. And look at this place. I mean, you'd never guess something like that was actually here. Never judge a book by its cover. That is so unique. And the lady is so sweet. She greeted me with a cup of coffee, a piece of cake, and said breakfast some more. I didn't even know it included breakfast. And she's got her little kitchen and she'll be cooking breakfast. So, happy days. Now, just like in many other countries, in Eastern Europe, there are these underground passageways that cross the main roads and they always have vendors. Here they're selling wine, souvenirs, clothing. I know it's around here somewhere. The guy said by the flower vendors, shouldn't be far from there. So here are the flower vendors. It's very traditional. They have clustered flower vendors and they often work 24 seven. We're heading to Carrefour. And the reason why I like to use Carrefour is because they're in most countries. So it's easy to do a like for like comparison because obviously there are discount supermarkets. But can you please Carrefour? Carrefour, I am sure you must move on it. Спасибо. Illegally crossing, that means taking your life into your hands here. Looks like we found it right there. So I found the uh, Carrefour. Anyways, I'm already sensing that people are getting a bit uh, stressed with the camera. Hence why I've got my backpack behind me. 
So I'm going to set up my uh, camera and hide it and put it in a trolley. See you inside. So what do we got here? Some uh, beef, 22, 23 Larry a kilo. 35 Larry a kilo. Sushi set, nine Larry's. Whole chicken, kilo price 13.50. Liter of milk, 2.5% fat, four Larry. The full fat milk, 4.20. Crispin butter, regular price 9.95, 8.45 on special. For some reason, it's in an alarm box. People must be stealing a lot of butter here. Eggs, 15 eggs, 8.25. Pringles crisps, seven nine five. Sunflower oil, regular price seven twenty five on special for four twenty five. Mackerel and tomato sauce, which I often eat, Latvian made, five fifty five. Tomato ketchup, the big bottle, nineteen Larry. Sugar price, 385. That's a coat, 320. 32 roll toilet paper, 22.95 for their own brand. Bread like the chapata for 50. Hey guys, look at this guy making bread in one of these clay ovens. Super interesting. So right if I just show how you do this? Yeah. Thanks. So cool. Well they'll let it brown off and then uh, bake them out and eventually they'll look like this and the price for one is uh, small is 80 one larry 20. hello how are you we are meeting that meeting again where did we meet before yeah. over there yeah. <laughs> you excuse me oh, okay yeah Smell good? Yes, very good. It's a vanilla something. Yeah. You speak good English. Where are you from? No, my English is much more desired. Now, that in itself says that you speak very good English. Where did you learn English? I have been... Uh, my, my son and my family, uh, my child lives in uh, London, so I visited the... Ah, okay. Very nice, London. I'm from London. So. Really? So. It's a very uh, user-friendly town. Yeah, I bet. Well, have a nice day. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so now I've taken the camera out. I might as well film until they tell me to get lost. So Polish uh, Gouda, Lekovica, 35 a kilo. Now we've got three president which is 86 a kilo. That seems super expensive. I'm not, I'm not doing the conversions yet, but that to me seems super expensive. Now let's do a comparison to the local cheese, which is 24 a kilo. All right here, the local equivalent to feta, 19 a kilo. At any rate, I'll get out of this supermarket and see you outside. Hello, Americana. Everything good? Danke schön. Bitte schön. Grazie. Grazie. Prego, prego. Ah, italiano, grazie mille. Ciao bella.
We've seen the supermarket. I don't have price converted yet, so I really have no idea how good or how bad the prices might be. When the video goes up, it'll be clear. Where to next? Let's head to a mall. Guys, I've just met these two wonderful young ladies from India and they're telling me how to get to the mall because apparently I need to take a metro, right? Or no metro? That's what I want. Where is Galleria Mall? It's near Metro Station. You need to find Metro Station. And how long have you been in Georgia, girls? It's, uh, Just two months. two months. You like it? Yeah. What do you do here? Yeah, we are medical students. Medical students? Yeah. In Georgia? Yeah. It's better than India or what? No, not better, but we need like, to go like what are abroad. Experiences, yeah. like, ah, wonderful. Like what part of India are you from? Yeah, from South India. Kerala? Yes. So you make a nice dosa. Yes, oh, you know. <laughs> I'm from England. We have a lot of Indian people in my country. And I love your food. I love the Indian food. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Your name is? Basie. Basie. And you are? Reshma. 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 Casey and Reshma. I'm Justin. Thank you so much, nice girl. Too. And good luck with your studies here oh, in Georgia. Thank you so much. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What fantastic young girls. Really pleasant, helpful. And they said, if I find the metro station. Oh, well, there you go. You could have said that before. <laughs> we'll just walk together. So you've been in, in Georgia for two months? Yeah. First time living abroad? No, no, no. Oh, you've it's lived so in another country? Yeah, we live in Ukraine. Uh, you live in Ukraine? No, we live in Ukraine, in Ukraine for the last four years. years. Ah, and then you had to leave, yeah? yeah. And so you managed to transfer your studies from Ukraine to... Yes. Oh, that, that was lucky, yeah. Good. So how many years you have left? Two more years. Total six years. And then you'll be medical doctors. Yeah, yeah. And your plan is to go back to India and practice or stay in Europe? We will decide later. Uh, yeah. We need to write a test in India. So after that, we will decide. So cool. So where in Ukraine did you live? Chernivtsi. Ah, Chernivtsi. Did you like it there? Or is it better here? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Each country has their own like, on properties, cultures. And so yeah. From Ukraine, it's better. So in Georgia, it's good too. I like that. You're positive. Everything is good. <laughs> Always look at the bright side, yeah? That's fantastic. Renovations going on everywhere, guys. Very narrow for two-way traffic. I didn't think this up very well. This is it? Perfect. They've brought me to my destination. Are you guys going into the mall too? No, no we are class next metro. We are going to metro. Oh. Yeah, we have university class. Oh, well, enjoy your class, young yeah, ladies. Thank you. thank you so much for your help. It was a pleasure to meet you. Well, guys. Welcome to Galleria Tbilisi Mall. Let's take a look around, see what kind of shops they have here. Sorry? No camera. Why? So what, nobody makes Instagram videos here? Information center. Yeah, okay, thank you. Same thing, right away, no camera. Well, at least we got the supermarket done, because I know that was going to be a problem. Good morning, young lady. Hi. How are you? Hi. Yeah, uh, I just got... Um, Approached by your security man saying I can't film in here. Yeah. Why not? Uh, it's marketing. You write in its email. Yeah, but I just want to make a two-minute no, YouTube mobile. video. Only mobile? Yeah. So with the mobile I can film? Yeah, it's only your pictures. Oh, okay. Mobile. We'll switch to mobile. I got permission. So now I'm on the phone, which I was going to be on anyways because I'm indoors and the lighting's better. Yeah, I don't think they meant for me to pull out a selfie stick, connect my camera and film anyways but never mind let's head to the food court first because i haven't had any breakfast and i really need me a cup of coffee and guess what i'm overdosing on hachapuri let's see if they've got anything decent here good morning my friend what kind of food do you serve here Ah, it's Italian food. Yeah. Is it like a Georgian restaurant? Uh, Chito. Chito? Yes. That's Georgian, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Well, guys, I thought this might be Georgian. It's actually Italian. Let's head to Chito. If I'm in Georgia, 
I'm going to overdose on Georgian food. Let's see what Cheeto has. Hello there. Do you speak English? I was recommended your restaurant as a Georgian restaurant, yes? Yeah? Uh, no Georgian food? Yes, only uh, salad. Georgian salad? Yeah. That's all? Okay. Just kebab. Yeah. Uh -huh. What about this Hintali? That's Georgian. Uh, okay. We don't have Hintali. But they have, yeah? Yeah. I guess it's going to have to be Georgian Hintali. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. What is going on here, guys? I'm in a mall in Georgia, and all I can get is American food. They have no Georgian food except for this Hintali place. So let's see what this is all about. Good morning, my friend. I hear you have some good uh, kinkaris here. Yeah. Is that what you specialize in? Yeah. Now, I've eaten the regular ones. Do you, and I want to show my, my subscribers, do you guys have the fried one? Fried one, so we had it before, but... That's a shame, really, because I was really hoping for a local experience. And, uh, hello. And, unfortunately, that's not possible. I don't know if I want to stick around this mall. Basically, usual shopping. I thought there might be something to share with you guys, but everything that's here, trust me, you've got in your own local mall, so nothing worth showing to you. But guys, if you ever wondered how to write H, letter H and letter M in Georgian, well, there you have it. That's H, that's M. They have a standalone alphabet that re resembles nothing else in terms of other alphabets out there. Now we know what H and M looks like. So guys, I've just left the mall and I was actually recommended to check out a place called Zodiaco. And I think they'll have what I'm looking for. So let's head over to Zodiaco. Apparently it's only a couple of minutes walk. So let's go. Good morning. Good morning. I heard this is a great place for Georgian food. Is that true? Now, do you do the chinkalis? Chinkalis? Do you do the fried ones? Uh, in the oil, oil, hot. Yeah. Yeah, you make it? Where can I sit? Thank you very much. So for years and years, Georgians have been renowned for their lemonades, for their soft drinks, sodas. And they do have some unusual flavors as well. Right here I'm having tarragon flavored uh, soda, which is known as tahun, but it's it's a herb really, and they've turned it into a soda. It's quite pleasant. And the soup right here, guys, is known as harcho. Very popular here. Wow, smells amazing. Very rich. Absolutely love this stuff. Let's see what the meat's like. I managed to cut through it with a spoon, which is already a good sign. Really tender, as it should be. Amazing. Now for the curry guys. I've ordered fried ones. Traditionally they're boiled and I've had them that way too, but I also like them this way. How this came about is that when they would have chinkali left over and heat them up, they would fry them up and it became very popular. I actually love them like this and you can actually order them fresh, fried. So the inside is filled with beefy, meaty juice. Emptied it, you start eating it. So good. So guys, I just got the check and all that food, which honestly I struggled to finish, was a total of 29 Larry's, which great deal. Um, and the vibe in this place is great. The service is super friendly. So I highly recommend it and I'll link it in the description below. But meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this video and remember, enjoy your journey.